Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to another week of our Sunday school time together. I'm so glad to see you guys, and I'm so glad you guys have stuck around with me this whole month. <laughs> this month, we've been talking about determination, and it's deciding it's worth to finish what you started. And if you've watched all this month, you showed great determination in learning more about Jesus. So I have my friend Monkey here today who volunteered to help me with a fun little activity. And I'm gonna explain why Miss Lisa has this little uh, workout thing on in just a minute. But first, what I want you guys to do is I want you to count to see how long it takes me to fill Mr. Monkey up with all of these sticky notes. I figured that would be really fun to do because this will be a little reminder how Jesus can help us get unstuck. Are you ready? Start counting now. It's stuck. <laughs> Boys and girls, I kept going and I couldn't get Mr. Monkey all filled up. But if you notice, I want you to see that I had three special sticky notes that have letters on them. This one has a W, this one has an O, and this one has a D. Now, that doesn't really spell a word, but W-O-D is gonna stand for workout of the day. And that's what we're gonna do in today's Bible story that I'm gonna share with you. I'm gonna have some fun physical activities that we're gonna do that'll help us remember today's Bible story, which is why Miss Lisa has her workout bandana on. So I hope you'll join along. So as you remember last week, if you watched last week's lesson, we heard about Stephen and he was somebody that was out spreading the good news of Jesus. Now, unfortunately, Stephen got killed but he had another friend whose name was Philip. And Philip was determined to keep spreading the word of God as well. So Philip is out spreading the word of God, sharing the good news, when suddenly an angel appears to him. And this angel says to Philip, she says, I want you to go south to the desert road and I want you to go to a place called Gaza. So I don't know about you, but when an angel gives me specific instructions, I would go. So we're gonna start out today's workout of the day by walking. We're walking, we're walking, we're walking down to Gaza. We're walking, we're walking. Are you guys walking too? We're walking down to Gaza. Now, Philip didn't really know what he was gonna do there, but he was determined to spread God's word and to listen to that angel. So he's walking and on his way, he sees an Ethiopian man. Now this man was rich. He was in charge of all the people of Ethiopia and he was on a chariot. And the Holy Spirit told Philip, hurry up and catch up to that chariot. I need you to go talk to that Ethiopian man. So, guess what we gotta do, boys and girls? We're jogging, we're jogging. Gotta catch up to that chariot. We're jogging, we're jogging. So finally, Philip catches up to that chariot and he sees the Ethiopian and says, hey, what you doing in there? Is, is there anything that I can help you with? And the Ethiopian said, well, Actually, there is. I've been reading this prophet, this, this passage from the Bible, and I don't quite understand it. Can you help me? So Philip said, sure, read it to me. So I'm reading from the book of Acts chapter eight, and we're gonna look at verse 33. Now this verse is a little confusing, but listen carefully and see if you can figure out who it's talking about. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter. And as a lamb before the shearer, he was silent. So he did not open his mouth. 
In his humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who can speak of this descendant? For his life was taken from this earth. Now Philip said, I know who that is talking about. That's talking about Jesus and how he died on the cross and how he just took it for our sins and he didn't complain and he ended up dying for us. So that gave the opportunity for Philip to talk about Jesus to this Ethiopian man. So sure enough, as they're going along in their chariot, they pass some water. And the Ethiopian says, what can stop me from being baptized? Do you think I can be baptized in the name of the Holy Spirit? And Philip said, absolutely you can. All who call out to Jesus and ask him to be their savior can be baptized. So that's exactly what they did. Philip baptized the Ethiopian king right then and there. Now we're gonna do one last exercise how maybe the Ethiopian looked when he came out of that water after being baptized. So I think we should do something like this. Can you do some jumps for me? Whoa, we're being baptized, we're being baptized. We love Jesus, yes we do. <laughs> that is awesome boys and girls. Thank you for doing the workout of the day with me and helping me to tell today's Bible story. So both Philip and the Ethiopian, they continue to be faithful to Jesus, continue to sp spread his word. And you know what? They didn't always have the answers. Even when Philip followed the directions of the angel, he didn't know where he was being led but he trusted God, he trusted Jesus, and he knew that as long as he was spreading the good word, that's exactly what he was supposed to be doing. So boys and girls, I could not let this day go by or this month go by without doing a certain craft for our month of stickiness. See if you can think what it is. Miss Lisa's gonna go get a sip of water and I'll meet you back in just a second where we'll do today's fun craft. Okay, see you in a minute, bye. Hi boys and girls, so we are back. I have my sip of water and I am ready to share with you today's fun craft. Now, this month has been all about being unstuck, right? So we have to do one of my favorite sticky crafts. And that, my friends, is to make some slime. Now there's lots of different recipes you can use, so definitely check with your parents first. Um, this one I'm using is really simple. It just uses the Borox and the Elmer's glue, but there's lots of different ones. So see, check out some different recipes on the internet and see what supplies that you might have at home. So this one starts out like this. We're gonna start out first with half a cup of water in a bowl, and we're gonna mix half a cup of glue. So I'm going to just use my Elmer's glue and I'm going to fill up this cup. I actually might have better luck if I, let's see if I open it up, but let me fill it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up our half a cup and mix it in with our water. And in a second, I'm gonna open this glue up and pour a little bit more since I didn't get my cup all the way filled in doing it that way. It definitely was taking a long time. <laughs> kind of like how I was putting sticky notes on our um, monkey friend. That took a long time. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I put in the rest of our glue and because I wanna make my slime pretty, I'm going to add some food coloring. So I'm gonna use green food coloring and just put a couple drops. You don't need very much of that. And mix it up. So in here, I have half a cup of water, half a cup of glue, and our food coloring. I wish I could show you. I don't think I can turn it into the camera very well, but it's in there and it looks green and kind of gooey a little bit. 
So what we're gonna do for our next step is we're gonna get a separate bowl and we're going to add a fourth teaspoon of this special borax. Now this is kind of like cleaning detergent. So I'm gonna add a fourth cup or a fourth um, teaspoon into another half cup of warm water, which here, which I had warmed up in the microwave just a little bit ago. So we have that. Now this is kind of gonna be like this special solution that's gonna make our slime slimy. So we have that. Now what Miss Lisa is going to do is pour this into the other bowl. Now here comes the fun part. I'm gonna have to really, 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 really mix up good. Let's see if I can get it going here. Sometimes slime takes a long time to mix, but I can see it's coming together really good. I'm trying to, trying to stir it real fast. Now, now that it's all mixed up, I'm gonna pull it out. Now definitely what makes slime so slimy is that it's really slimy. <laughs> so I thought this is a perfect way to end our month of determination. A uh, great reminder that Jesus is there for you boys and girls, no matter what situation you are in. And I just, I'm so glad you are joining me on Sunday mornings as I am continuing to mold my slime and help it form. If you guys would close in prayer with me. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for our time together. Thank you for these boys and girls and, and all the joy they bring into our lives, my life, Lord, um, and all the fun that we have together. Protect us, keep us safe, Lord, and we just give you thanks for everything. Amen. And it looks like my slime is ready. <laughs> have a great Sunday, boys and girls, and I'll see you soon. Bye.